Today we're going to learn to animate our own characters and stories. We'll learn the skills needed to animate books, comics, anime, even full-blown CGI movies. You can do it all with free tools. Let's get started. To start off, we need to create an image of our character. I use Midjourney, but there's a free tool called Leonardo AI. You can use that instead. If you want to use Midjourney, you Google Midjourney Discord, sign up, click a newbie channel on the left side, type backslash imagine and start describing your character, and that's all there is to it. When we come up with a character, we want them to look consistent, whether they're facing the camera or any other direction. So I'm going to use Midjourney to create a character sheet. And what we do is we include the words character sheet and multiple angles separated by commas. And that's going to give us four separate images that have a few different angles of our character. And I use Studio Ghibli animation style. I'll introduce you to other animation styles near the end of the video and you can choose the one that you like best. But you can see here there's four corners to the image. So what I'm going to do is upscale the one that I want. U1 means upscale number one. And then once the image arrives upscaled, I'm going to click it and then I'm going to right click it and just save the image. So now it's on my computer. And if you're using Leonardo AI, you just write your prompt at the top and you can choose a model like DreamShaper V5, which is good for animation. And otherwise it works pretty much the exact same as Midjourney from there. So now we're going to use a free design tool called Canva. So you're going to start a design in a portrait shape and then drag and drop your character sheet image into it. And then we're going to duplicate the page three or four times because we're going to separate all the images in the character sheet so that we have them individually. Then we'll choose edit photo at the top left and then choose the magic eraser tool. And now we're just going to erase the other angles of our character so that we only have one at a time in each of these duplicate pages. And we'll do this until we have three or four separate images of our character and each one's a different angle. Then at the top right, we're going to click share, which will let us download it. And we're going to check the box for transparent background. You can also make the image sharper by upscaling the size of the image while you do this. Now take the images you just downloaded from Canva and drag and drop them all into Midjourney or Leonardo AI and hit enter. And once they're in there, click the image and then right click to copy the image address. Then you paste that image address link into your prompt and you just repeat it for all of your images so that you probably have four different links in there. And now Midjourney is going to have four photos of your character as a reference for its next prompt. So I'm going to copy the same prompt I had before but I'm going to remove character sheet at multiple angles because we don't need that anymore. And I'm going to replace that part of the prompt with an emotion. And I'm going to use this to get images of my character looking happy, looking angry, and things that let me tell the story and different parts of it in a fuller way. So for some really simple animation just to start off, we're going to go back to Canva and create a design for a video this time. Canva has background animations that are out of the box. So on the left side, you click Elements, search for animated background, then just drag and drop it right in there. So we're also going to drag and drop our character images into Canva and then go to edit photo BG remover, which is removing the background of it. But at the top, there's an option to animate. And if you have your character selected, it's going to allow you to see some options for different ways to animate your character all through Canva. But we're going to go next level with it and use Pika Labs. We're going to go to pika.art, join the beta, and then join the Discord group. And here you just type backslash create and then click the button for image and drag and drop your image in. And use a very simple text prompt for this so you do not confuse Pika. So hit enter to animate. And if you don't like the animation Pika gives you, you can click the redo button and do multiple takes of it. Or you can click shuffle and it lets you change your prompt. So once you have an animation you like, download it, drag and drop that downloaded video to Canva, and now that animation will be in your video. You can then make it more like a comic by clicking elements on the left, then searching for a thought bubble, and once we drag that in, we can click text on the left side and add that in to write something into the thought bubble. So you can use fonts like Bangers or Chewy, which uh, kind of fits a comic style, then we can select the thought bubble and click animate at the top to make the thought bubble animated along with the rest of the video. But to get even more next level, let's make our own animated background fitting the same animation style as our character. So we're going to prompt Midjourney with the Studio Ghibli animation prompt we had before. 
and drag it into Pika Labs to animate it. And we'll drag the new background that we have from Pika into Canva and create a duplicate of the pages so that we can replace our character with different animations as the video moves along. So on this second page, we're gonna drag another animation we got from Pika over top of the old one. Then we're going to look at the layers. Click show layers, and that helps us find the old one and delete it. So the old one's still on the other page. So we'll have two animations that now work together in the same video. And then we'll add different thought and speech bubbles. We can add effects like smoke going off behind our character to show off his rage in the background. And we're doing this all through the element section of Canva. And then we'll animate individual pieces of text as well to emphasize certain words and really get a feel for what our character is thinking. And if you're not using Canva, a simple trick is just say comic strip with two to seven panels in Mid Journey and Leonardo, and you'll get delivered that. To create CGI animation or any other style, just identify the style that you want for your prompt then copy and paste those image address links into Midjourney and take your results to Pika and stitch it together. So what I showed wasn't complicated. I got a consistent character and animation style going in Midjourney. I brought those results to Pika and then I used my video editor and just made them side by side. The only real trick I did was reversing the clip to make it better fit the story. I'm not covering video editing today, but CapCut and iMovie are free video editors. You can use those to get started and it'll be equally as easy. It's important that you learn the names of some animation studios or artists that you like for your prompts. If you're into a certain animated movie or show, Google who the animation artist is and write their name into your prompt. If they have enough notable work, Midjourney and Leonardo AI will help you get images in the style of that artist or studio. And if you want to be less derivative, start to learn some of the animation subgenres out there and it'll use a blend of the different artists who are in that subgenre. Other tools beyond Pika can also help you capture unique animation styles. Kyber AI just released a new product called Motion that lets you generate four second clips and help animate your images with the help of presets like the intergalactic one that I'm using here. If you want to learn more, subscribe, but also go to therealrobot.com and sign up for AI Film School. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to cover. Thanks for watching.